Hi everyone, this is Dawn Marie with Creative DME Designs and I'm just going to give you a walk through quickly of what I've done for day one and day two of uh, Flamingo Friday with uh, Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon. Um, if you're wondering, Billy Goat decided to come up and join me so you may see her paws jump in. Um, I did not have my new camera and I was not able to tape with my phone uh, because I had not gotten enough memory in it. So when you do go look for a new phone, make sure you get the highest memory and that way you'll be able to be much better at taping things and you won't have to take things off as quickly. So, but I did get a Minolta Pro Shop and I have a lovely crane arm above me all the time. I don't have to take it down. I have all the plugs and gadgets going in on it. So. This is for Flamingo Friday, uh, hashtag Flamingo Fridays with the S, uh, 2022. Uh, so I made this, which is called a waterfall album or journal with day one and a bunch of um, Julie's pages and uh, Kara's pages. So... Uh, this is what I've got so far. It's not 100% put together because I need to do something in the middle. And that, I think, is going to be day four. Uh, this is for, like, an album. And this is, this, so you know how sometimes things fall out if you have one of these pages. You get to just uh, stick that up there so that it holds it in. And this is just a basic pocket. And that's the smallest page. The next page I have, um, I made this journal that goes in and it's going to get um, tied in in the middle. This is just a bunch of coloring pages and uh, pages that I found from other pieces of paper uh, that I made into a little uh, book to put into this, um, I don't know, uh, waterfall lap. journal. I don't know what we're going to call it. Um, and this has a little one in it. Uh, and then, oh, geez. I should have looked up. That's why I got this. <laughs> if you missed anything. Uh, so this is what's in the next smallest section. I didn't, I just left it as the picture. Sometimes you, you don't have to have something on a piece of, on a piece of paper. Okay, so I just basically found things, put them in. Um, this was a coloring book, but I liked this side right here for the back page. And this side had a dress and a bunch of other things on it, so I just cut some plants out and put it around it like you can color it to make it tropical these you can slide pictures in it like I was thinking um, if you went to a specific um, place you could put a large postcard or something from there I did make a cute little pocket right here I don't know what for but it was hiding something that was on the notebook that was there these will end up going up through them but I did not um, I have not bound it yet because I keep finding pieces of paper that can go in here and because it's it can be added to whenever I I just am leaving it for right now. I did do a little design here with pieces of stickers that they're actually the outside of the stickers. Um, you know how it leaves the little line? So I used that just to make sure I wasn't using I mean I wasn't using everything I had. This is from um, right here. I know it's from Kara, and I know that this page right here is from uh, week two or day two. Uh, so what I've done is I've printed Kara's page twice, and I actually think that this was from day one, uh, this page. I printed it twice, cut out the, the palm tree, and placed it just a little offset to it so it makes it look like it's bigger. And then 
if this edging wasn't here, which is actually a bunch of the small little flowers that um, that Kara had and the little labels um, and some stickers. I just made a backing for it. This actually lines up perfectly to this. Um, these tags were part of Kara's, uh, the one on the inside I did add to it. But I, I made these sort of like a, an illusion because what you do is on both sides it has that, but each one of these is a pocket. So there's a pocket on that side and a pocket on this side. And the belt is keeping them in. And I did do some um, coloring on the edge with a paint pen that I found, or some a set of paint pens, actually. Uh, this was the next size up, and this one I made um, like a banner end. And yes, you can even put something in there and in there. So there's like a pocket two pockets on each one of these. Um, this one I made it, uh, made, made it a square and did the same thing. And so this side is the side that you put things in and it holds. And uh, I'm still trying to decide if I wanna put something on here, like to slip those things in, like you could put a circle and only glue around like the C and you, it could slide it in to hold them. Um, I also used some really pretty fabric that I have. That's orange, which is my favorite color. And this one, I had just got a brand new stamp or a brand new cutting uh, thing that was a leaf. So I used that, but then I put a palm tree behind it, which I believe came from um, Julie's set. And I did make the, the um, tags bigger with what I had in my stash. And this was from the same day. Now I was supposed to meld them together, but I really, really, really wanted these old vintage ones as the ginormous um, belly band uh, to hold this and what I made for day three. And it's really like just a giant giant pocket to hold some of the bigger things um, and it is the back page also so it it's just it holds everything in and I really liked the idea of um, using all the old from Julie's on it um, from day two but then I also found some um, uh, glitter paper which I don't like glitter but I wanted to use it because I thought the colors went great and I that's why I pulled out my um, paint pens is because I wanted to put something on it because it was really bright um, but if I dulled it down with some paint then it didn't quite it's it sort of made it in the mood of the vintage stuff but yes this is one huge big belly band um, now if you're watching this you might have already seen my day three and it's just a giant um, double pocket tag and this is something that I made. I can't remember what it was for day one or whether it was uh, another, <laughs> another thing with Julie. But um, this right here is a, um, a very shallow pocket um, that has uh, really thin stuff in it that, you know, made from envelopes. And what I did is I just took two big envelopes and cut them in half uh, to make this and to add some extra small papers in it and that says make some noise. Uh, you could put coupons in that, you could put stickers in it, like you know how you have those long stickers. So um, I just thought it was super cute and as you can see on the top here, it actually connects but it makes it so it can't open all the way. And I think that's a pretty cool uh, thing to do because then things won't fall out as much. And then I did add um, some braids on the side to hold it closed. And let's finish off with this. Uh, this is a piece from Julie's, um, my staff's of Julie's paper. I'm not sure what's going to go there yet. I believe that it probably might be one of the other days 
stuff will go there. And then I made um, this over, and this is from some of Julie's. And see, these are coming up. I need to glue them down. And this was from either day one or day two of Julie's. I'm not sure which it was. Um, but that makes the um, closure of this, I guess I'm calling it a waterfall lap. Um, journal or um, I don't know I don't know what I would call this because it's not really a junk journal uh, it can hold a whole bunch of things um, especially because of the way that I've drafted um, its design so whatever you want to call it maybe somebody will give me an idea on the um, on my page once again you can look at anything that we're doing for this by doing hashtag Flamingo Fridays, make sure you put that S in there, 2022. There are a lot of people working on this. We have, um, we just completed uh, day three. I believe we have either one or two more days. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, this was Dawn Marie with Creative DME Designs. And this was a capsule of day one, day two, and day three. See you later. Enjoy.